Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We are a nonprofit that uses radio control to get kids excited about math and science. And today we're back in the garage here. We're actually going to do a formal introduction to our slash two wheel drive monster truck project. And you know, some 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 folks call this the slash peed uh, because it's a slash, but you put on larger monster truck tires and probably a monster truck body so it's more like a, a stampede except it has a longer wheelbase wheelbase meaning the uh, the distance from wheel to wheel right so actually the the longer wheelbase uh, is really nice with the two-wheel drive slash versus a stampede because when you put in a more powerful motor like the one that we have here the Valenion system the brushless system it will uh, the stampede with the shorter wheelbase will will just wheelie all the time and when those wheels those front wheels aren't touching the ground that means you can't turn right they you don't have any traction going to the front wheels you won't have the ability to steer while those uh, while those wheels are up in the air and it's a lot of fun pulling those wheels but for me um, and you know for the kids that drive these trucks it uh, it probably uh, leads to a lot more accidents and uh, you know just not being able to steer all the time probably not the best uh, for our particular use case but um, just wanted to walk you guys through this truck we, we actually have the Proline uh, F-150 body on here and, and it fits really nice you'll see that it actually drops right to the bottom of the chassis we're, we're using the, the Proline uh, adjustable uh, body mounts too right uh, that use these thumb screws which are nice uh, you don't have to deal with body pins and uh, you'll notice that uh, we didn't crack any of the holes on this body so uh, those those uh, I gave these these mounting posts uh, a shot for the first time on this truck uh, and they've been doing pretty well um, the body itself we, we, we've actually developed a tear here I, I just kind of scotch taped it up for the time being um, but I need to get in there and and use some drywall and uh, drywall tape and shoe goo to go ahead and patch that tear in the the Lexan so it it doesn't get any bigger uh, but uh, probably need to clean this up a little bit first so onto the truck itself um, you know it is it it's a two-wheel drive slash um, you know just a basic uh, or so, a couple of upgrades here and, and changes that we'll walk through uh, you'll notice that these are actually non-stock tires right these are larger uh, you know 2.8 size monster truck tires um, these are actually off of uh, one of our ECS ruckuses. Uh, we we have the 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 Stampede Traxxas stock Traxxas Stampede tires up in the front here, and uh, you know these are nice, but actually they they don't have a lot of traction. Uh, so in the rear, especially running a more powerful motor like we have here, the the Valenion brushless system, you, you need really a better tire, and the the um, the ECS. Ruckus actually comes with a pretty decent tire, so we had a, an extra set of these laying around. Threw them on the uh, the slash here, and uh, gets the power down to the ground a lot better with that brushless system. Um, another thing you'll notice here is that we're we're actually running an an older Traxxas servo here. It's a it's a 2055, and that's because the 2075 that we had in there uh, was actually damaged in a crash. Um, one of the kids drove this straight into a chain link fence and. Uh, the servo was one of the casualties that just kept spinning or making a spinning sound. Uh, first, you know, we could only turn left and not right, and then it died completely. So I uh, went ahead and swapped that out for this older servo that we had lying around. Uh, some other changes here. We, we actually have some non-standard shocks back here, too. These are just another set that we had off of an Ofna Hyper 7. So the front shocks off of a, an 8th scale Nitro buggy had this laying around so we you know we just wanted a little more suspension uh, travel a little more ground clearance so went with these larger shocks and they've been doing pretty well you know so uh, you know it, of course it could handle more we'll probably put in some some better shocks here when we have the chance but um, this is definitely a workhorse in our stable and we do a lot of bashing at the park let a lot of kids drive this around um, so it definitely um, it definitely uh, sees its share of hits and, and damage so another thing you'll notice here is that we, we put in a larger battery mount here. So this is to accommodate the larger uh, Venom 10,000 milliamp hour or 10,000 ma batteries. Uh, it's a two cell lithium polymer lipo battery. So with that battery we can get pretty tremendous run times, you know, 45 minutes to an hour. Um, so a lot of time bashing and running this in the park thanks to those Venom batteries. 
Uh, but um, yeah, this this thing has been pretty durable, and uh, you know, we, we have had some issues with uh, you know, with the transmission. We we sheared a pin in there a few months back, uh, and uh, we also had a clicking sound uh, that I that I uh, misdiagnosed actually as uh, in, in one of our earlier videos, I misdiagnosed that as, uh, as a differential problem. It actually was just a grain of sand in the, the spur gear. I thought I had cleaned that out completely. It was still kind of making this clicking sound. Um, but, um, you know, I, I ended up breaking it down the whole transmission only to find that it was in perfect shape. Um, it's always good to, you know, it's always good to open it anyways. I, I did notice, you know, some binding in the drive shafts here, so I cleaned those out. These plastic drive shafts that, that slide in and out with the suspension travel. Um, so, you know, just did some routine maintenance on this. Uh, did find a couple more specks of sand in the spur gear. So I cleaned those out, and it's running smooth again. So, uh, once again, thanks again for watching us. Follow us on Facebook. Subscribe to us on YouTube. And, of course, we always enjoy your comments. Thanks again for watching.